0% financing on every Tempur-Pedic every day at every Sleep Outfitters. Starting at $34 per month. Buy now and make it an adjustable for the same monthly payment. 12 models to choose from. Available for immediate delivery at Sleep Outfitters. Hello and welcome back to the Tennessean's Bernard Pollard Show. We are presented by Sleep Outfitters and we are joined now by Tennessean columnist David Clymer and Cam Wimbley. Hi Cam, thanks for coming. Hey, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I think we're going to start it off talking a little bit about your culinary skills. So We'll, we'll get into that oh, okay. later, Jessica. All right, Let's All right. I don't want to jump too far ahead. football first and uh. then. Cam, you're making the switch this year. It's four games in, the old defensive end to outside linebacker. Us laymen think hand, hand on the dirt, hand out of the dirt. It's a lot more complicated than that. What are the differences? Well, when you're playing DN, you're normally receiving the calls, so you don't have to make any calls. You don't really have to worry about adjustments or things like that. But being at the linebacker position, we're kind of like quarterbacks in the defense, so we have to be able to communicate with everybody, uh, with the defensive backs and the defensive linemen. And uh, we also have to be more versatile and drop back into coverage. Um, coming into the league, I made that transition from defensive end to linebacker. Uh, so I played my first six years in the league at that position. So it was a little bit tougher going back to straight defensive end mm -hmm. at the NFL level as opposed to the college level. So making a transition back has been pretty smooth for me. You, you know, we've talked a lot, guys, over the last month, maybe two months, going back into training camp, the transition to a new defense. And I know four games in, you guys aren't where you want to be. <laughs> Bernard, uh, is it getting easier? Ray Horton has talked about communications a key, but more just doing your job is really a factor. Where are you in that transition? Well, I think, you know, uh, we're out there, you know, and, and one thing that coach kind of said the other day, we don't have guys running wide open. And uh, I, I think it, it wouldn't make us feel better if we had guys running wide open and all these points being scored on us. Uh, we have guys that are there. We're just not making plays on balls. So the communication, um, guys understand this defense. You know, we're there, um, but we just have to make plays. And I think that was one problem that we had last year that opposed to this year, um, or last year and this year, we're just not making game-winning plays and, and, and we're not changing, you know, the momentum of games, you know, when, when, when these receivers are, are catching these fade routes, post routes, whatever it is, we have to make plays. And, and the first, you know, just speaking about it, the first quarter of the season was piss poor, horrible, one and four, one and three. You know, now we're in the second quarter of the season. It's time for us to make a move. Cam, do, you, do player Bernard talked about, and I hear coaches talk about, do you think about the season being in quarters, or do you think week by week, or how do you divide things up in your mind? I try to go day by day. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, this is a, a tough business. Um, I think uh, some people break it down into quarters, and I, and I do look at it in quarters, and uh, we didn't start out the way that we wanted to, but we look at this as the second quarter coming up, and um, we just got to change some things and hopefully uh, have a, a better second quarter than the first quarter, and I think we can do that. Now, we started out this segment. Uh, Jessica talked a little bit about your culinary skills, mm -hmm. and, and I, I remember reading the Super Bowl two years ago, right? In New Orleans, you were part of a Rachel Ray show <laughs> competition, <laughs> correct? Yeah, I got the opportunity to, to see Rachel, and I had a crush on her in college. Oh, yeah. yeah so uh. so that, was, that was kind of fun. I got to hang out with her, and my wife was there, so I was, I was all good. You know? <laughs> But no, that was a great experience, and there were other NFL players mm -hmm. on there. I got to hang out with uh, Freeney, and uh, I believe Martellius Bennett was right. up there. So we had a great time, and we were able to, to make some great food. And uh, I believe Tony Saragusa was up there. He was a judge. I think he so. judged, which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I but, think he has some restaurants, too. But you're winning. Did, I believe you won the competition. Mm -hmm. My wife and I spent a lot of time on the South Carolina coast. It's sort of the the low country staple there, and you made a variation of shrimp and grits, yes, right? with andouille sausage. With andouille yeah. sausage, <laughs> yeah. which adds a kick. Talk, a, where did you run across that recipe? How easy is it to cook? And Bernard, have you ever eaten grits? I've I can't remember. I don't think I like them. So, yeah. I'm, I'm a picky eater, so okay. yeah, you can't throw nothing there. You can't just throw anything in front of me. Okay, but, but shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. Cam, what goes into it besides shrimp, grits, and andouille? Um, well, we had a 
I can't give you everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but now, you. My, my wife pretty much helped me out with it, and, uh, you know, we had practiced it a couple times, and, you know, it's something I enjoy making, and uh, outside of that, I, I mess around on the grill a little bit, mm -hmm. so uh, when we were approached with that opportunity, we thought that it'd be a great dish, and uh, really, we had to go get the Rachel Ray cookware, so when they were filming this show, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'd get that, but um, really, it's just grits, sausage, shrimp, and you can add, you know, different seasonings, mm -hmm. whatever you like, uh, whatever your flavor Don't overcook the shrimp. Yeah, don't overcook the shrimp. Yeah, you'll be in trouble. But, but no, I mean, it was, it was easy. It's an easy dish for people to make, and I'll probably post up the, the actual recipe on my Twitter. Or there you go. Now you need to, right? People are going to be looking for it. Now you yeah. got him started. Now you can cook too, Bernard. I can throw down a what's little your, bit. What's your go because guys all think they can grill, but right. let's go beyond that. Okay. Well, what's your go-to dish? Um, you know, I could do some uh, mean pancakes. Um, you know, uh, I don't eat eggs. So I okay. can do hash browns. I do. I like, I like tater tots, uh, mm -hmm. tater tots, and and turkey sausage. So you know, um, if you come over, we can we can have breakfast for dinner. But you know, <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, I'm not a I'm not a I can cook, I really can uh, I can cook. My father was a he, he cooked a lot. He cooked every every night. You know, we didn't go to restaurants mm -hmm. until um, I don't think I went to a restaurant growing up until I was about 14 or 15. Yeah. So uh, we went, We went. I think, a couple times with my mom, I think, if I remember correctly. But with my father, we didn't go nowhere. We were at home eating all the time. We had Taco Bell, actually, every Friday and watched, nice. uh, you know, uh, Steve Urkel and, and uh, <laughs> you know, the, yeah, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, yeah, I watched it all, Blossom. That was me. So I was at home watching that. Now, you guys have both prepared for the inevitable, which is life after football. Right. You're, you've got some investments, some businesses. I think back home in Gouda. Wichita, what, what all are you involved in, Cam? Well, no, with the, the cooking aspect, uh, made me become interested in the restaurant business. My auntie had done wings before, and she, she has a great recipe. So I partnered up with her, and, and they do a great job back in my hometown. It's a, a place called Wings and Things. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's pretty hands off by me. They, they do a great job running it. I can just focus on football. <laughs> so all my attention is here. And once I'm done, I may come in every once in a while and, and see how I can do back there with them or with my auntie and uh, prepping her, her famous dish or her famous recipe. But outside of that, um, I'm really into dogs and I'll probably end up spending most of my time doing that and hanging out. We're not out. talking about hot dogs here, right? <laughs> no, no I, I had a kennel or whatever, but I'm really into dog shows, and uh, I own a dog registry. So mm -hmm. me and Michael Griffin, we talk about that a lot, and I've, I've ended up running to him and into him and Chris Johnson at a dog show. So that'll probably be what I spend a lot of my time doing. Now, when you show up at a dog show, you're not your normal dog show spectator or participant. Do people look at you funny? What's... What's an NFL player, a big guy doing at a dog show? Because <laughs> that's a little out of character, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there'll be fans at the dog shows and stuff like that. But uh, I think we're all excited about the animals that are there. You know, we're all just dog fanciers. We love the animals. So that's our, our common bond. So I was able to, to do a show here in Nashville, uh, the Pitbull and Parolees, along with uh, Michael Griffin. Right. And uh, so... It's really a, a kind of way for me to give back as well. So I also do that through dogs, through donations to different charities and things like that. So do you ever disagree with the judges like maybe you would with oh, yeah, a referee? It, it, it's competitive. It's like, it's like football in a way. So you're out there, you want to win. If, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you didn't win, you know, they did something wrong. Or I don't know, maybe you got to go and condition your dog better or whatever it may be. But... Yeah, you're disappointed, so it takes me a while to get over it. <laughs> Very good. I love this. I love learning about you guys off the field, too. It, it's great. It's